You're watching News 12 AM with Annette Campbell, Kylie Dedman, and from the Weather Authority, here's meteorologist Brian Briggs, Texoma's most watched news. Good Thursday morning, Texoma. Hopefully you're staying warm out there because weather-wise, here we go again. It is another chilly one with temperatures in the 30s and 40s, so fairly similar to what we saw yesterday. The one big difference, though, is we are not dealing with a breezy northwesterly wind like what we saw yesterday. Actually, the winds will be fairly calm this afternoon, which will allow us to see a be very just beautiful Thursday in general. I saw a high of 70 degrees yesterday or 68 degrees yesterday. Normally we're supposed to be about 70. So yeah, all in all, it is going to be a beautiful one. And the sun coming up here on this beautiful Thursday. A live look at your TMC tower cam shows crystal clear blue skies shaping up here. And that is because we have clear high pressure and cool high pressure in place. So that is allowing us to uh, see abundant sunshine. And again, those winds will be coming down here in the not too distant future. So all in all, it is going to be a fantastic day. Get outside and enjoy because uh, eventually the not so nice weather will be returning to Texoma. We kind of see our first chance for showers and thunderstorms as early as Saturday night. Most of your Saturday is going to be dry, though. It's going to be windy as well. But uh, yeah, scattered thunderstorms rolling through Texoma. There could be some low end severe potential with this activity, mainly in southern Oklahoma, but we're not looking at a big severe weather event by any stretch of the imagination. We could have higher severe weather potential, though, into next week. Lake Texoma stats for you and your fishing game forecast for your Thursday. Good luck if you're going to be heading out and about. So, of course, the big story all across the board here is the total solar eclipse. We are officially four days away now. And of course, uh, we have still locations in the path totality. That's not changing. But what is it's still kind of being worked out here is the overall forecast. Now, what we're looking at for Monday is starting kind of off on a clear note, and that's going to be through the pre dawn hours, at least through now. Clouds will be increasing through the day today, but there's still kind of a question as to uh, how quickly those clouds will kind of filter into Texoma. Because if we can get the system that's going to eventually bring us some showers and thunderstorms later into Monday night and then through the rest of the week, really, if that can slow down by a few hours even, I think we may have actually a better chance of clearer skies. Not putting that at all, at least uh, or betting money on that, but uh, certainly it's something to watch. Either way, most of your Monday will be dry. Then scattered thunderstorms return, and we just have off and on waves of rain as we go through uh, late Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, and potentially most of next week. So this is for late Monday night, severe weather potential there, and also risk for severe weather on Tuesday. Large hail damaging winds and tornadoes possible, and maybe even some flooding rains, especially if we get several waves of showers and storms. So be sure to stay updated with the latest forecast as things are still being ironed out. Thanks, Brian. The Red River Area 13 Special Olympics held its annual track and